Synanon claims it's the victim of bad publicity, losing more than $100,000 in grants and contracts. Fewer addicts are being sent there. Parents are disowning their children who live there. Some filing lawsuits, charging brainwashing and torture. And a grand jury is investigating charges of child abuse. And I talked with former residents who for the first time are speaking out about Synanon. It was founded 19 years ago by a man named Chuck Dieterich. I'm big brother, I'm big daddy, I, I'm, I'm all kinds of things. I wore a wonderful costume for a good many years. I look more like Buddha than Gandhi. We are an experimental society. I don't know how this is going to come out. I really don't. If I knew how it was going to come out, I would do it. He is the driving force of Synanon a recovered alcoholic who created a no drugs, no alcohol, no violence society for drug addicts and alcoholics who just drifted in or were sent there by parole and probation officers. They start new lives, learning trades, from mechanics to working for Synanon's business enterprises. Synanon's assets, $33 million. In recent years, Synanon began calling itself a religion. One gesture of that commitment came three years ago when the women joined the men and shaved their heads. Deidre was surrounded by people who were only yes men, treated him as a king. He now sat on an actual throne. But now he's being made into a god and can make someone into a god. He can give him godly powers. He will become a god. And Deidre became god. On May 23rd, California Health Department inspectors entered Synanon's premises in Marin County with a warrant to investigate reports of child abuse. If they want to come on our property, we will surround them, uh, each one of them, with ten guys twice their size within one foot of them, and say, all right, inspect, punk. Some people inside Synanon found themselves defined as enemies rather than friends and were faced with the problem of getting out. A cradle-to-grave society doesn't release its members easily, and lawyers such as Paul Morantz were called in to seek help from the courts. I uh, had a client came to me and uh, referred to me by another individual who said that his wife was in Synanon and that uh, the organization was refusing to allow him to see her, speak to her, or take her out. Uh, we got her out at uh, approximately nine, ten days later. I think that any organization like Synanon, which convinces people that live there that it is such a superior way to live, that it is the only way to live, and that that causes people to do anything that the organization wants them to do, and I think that's very dangerous. During the past three years, the number of violent incidents involving outsiders who cross Synanon's path has increased sharply. I don't know. Uh what action they might take against the persons of the people responsible, uh, their wives, their children. I just don't know. I, uh, and I have no way of being responding. That came to a head when attorney Paul Morantz was almost killed by a rattlesnake placed in his mailbox. Chuck Diedrich and two other members were convicted of conspiracy to commit murder. Morantz was bitten by a rattlesnake that had been put in his mailbox at a specific Palisades home. Two members of Synanon, the controversial drug rehabilitation group, have been arrested. He's fearful another attempt might be made, another attempt to kill him. His complete recovery from the rattlesnake bite he received last week will probably take several weeks. Two Synanon members will be arraigned later this week on charges of putting the snake in the mailbox at Morantz's home. As he was leaving the hospital, Morantz was asked about the weekend break-in at his law office. It could be many things. It could be a coincidence. Uh, it could be another cult group. Uh, if it was not a coincidence, I would actually suspect another cult group more than Synanon because there was news broadcasts saying that uh, I was investigating all cults and uh, that uh, I was learning secrets of brainwashing. Police now say they do not think the break-in is related to the rattlesnake attack. They say it appears to have been a common burglary. One of the men arrested in connection with the snake attack is going to be arraigned tomorrow. 28-year-old Joseph Musico, he's being held on $50,000 bond. Musico and 23-year-old Lance Kenton arrested last week. Kenton is going to be arraigned on Friday. The New York Post tonight reports that Synanon member Joseph Musico, who is charged in the rattlesnake attack against attorney Paul Moran, once served in Vietnam. Musico was charged today with conspiracy to commit murder and two other counts of assault in connection with the rattlesnake incident. 
He's a former heroin addict and was an Army military police officer in Vietnam. He's being held on $50,000 bail. The other suspect, Lance Kenton, is free on bail. Identical charges are expected to be filed against him on Friday. 20-year-old son of band leader Stan Kenton pleaded innocent in charges of conspiracy and assault with a deadly weapon. Kenton and another member of the drug center, Synanon, are accused of plotting to kill Moran, possibly because he won a judgment against Synanon. Preliminary hearing has been set for next month. Till then, Kenton will remain free on $25,000 bail. The grand jury also referred to the number of reports it had received about child abuse inside Synanon. An alarming number of parents have to deal with the trauma of losing a child to a cult. Joy Butler's 17. He spent five years of his life at Synanon. You were very instrumental in getting Joy and his brother and sister out, am I correct? Yes, that's true. Were you still aware? Were they calling you, uh, making any kind of threats through you to Paul Moran? I mean, were you aware that anybody was out to get him? Oh, well, I was aware that they were out to get him. But you didn't know it was going to be a snake. No, I had no idea. How long did it take you to recover? I was in the hospital for two weeks. That was a rabbit snake. Yeah, but it was about pretty good. Four foot. Four foot. Four foot. Uh, they still had millions of dollars. Uh, Charles Dietrich is on probation. However, at the same time, we're not aware of any violence that has taken place since the rattlesnake attack. As far as helping getting the kids out, I gained something for myself, which is sort of another family.